Hello, everybody. Well, there's no everybody yet because nobody's on. And I may have actually done this at a bad time, but I'm going to fool around with the times as I do some of these Facebook lives. I'll go early, I'll go late, I'll go in between. Might do some late nights, might do some early mornings. So uh, this is a late afternoon, early evening. Everybody is probably eating uh, supper. Um, at home because you can't go out and eat supper but they're busy probably in the kitchen and all that kind of stuff we'll wait a few minutes hey to let's see jordan ken hey bert <laughs> no i know it says brett it's an inside joke uh, but anyway it is brett uh dax hey dax and carrie lancaster we may be headed to his church uh, a week from Sunday, but then again, maybe not. I say we, the Old Time Preachers Quartet. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> so stay tuned. Uh, Dax is supposed to call uh, and let me know early this upcoming week. And uh, we'll let you know what he says. But we understand either direction. We're chomping at the bit to come and sing and preach, but we get it. We understand. Uh, that is in... Uh, Alabama, Mississippi, somewhere over that direction. Hey, uh, Lana. Don't have my stuff with me, Dax. I got a lot on my mind these, these days, brother. Hello, David. A uh, little Facebook Live here today. Yesterday we did a Facebook Live, and I'm doing a series. Of, it's going to be a bunch of them. No telling how many. Could be hundreds. <laughs> hey, Mo. Hey, Danny. Uh, uh, that ties into Southern Gospel memorabilia that, that I have. Hey, Mark. Tuscaloosa, that's right. Roll Tide. Where's Where's Rabbit Easter when I need him? Or Bob Sellers. Um, but we did one last night that had to do with the Game of Life, the Kingsman song, and uh, and I had a piece of memorabilia that tied into it. We played it, played the vinyl, played the song, and I had a baseball that was autographed by that entire Kingsman Quartet unit back in 1984 including some that's already gone home to be with the Lord, like uh, Eldridge Fox and Jim Hamill and Anthony Berger. And it's really just a cool piece of memorabilia. And so we showed that last night, played the music, and uh, we're going to do something similar today. But while we wait for a few more folks to jump on live, hello, Brandon, hello, uh, Terry. Uh, while we're waiting for a few more folks, Alabama's governor just issued a total shutdown for all non-essential businesses. Gotcha. Uh, that probably doesn't bode well, but uh, I'm going to wait for the preacher to give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Uh, we're going to come if he says to come and just, uh, you know, we'll just have to deal with the governor and all that. I know somebody bigger than the governor, but, uh, and, we'll, and I understand we got to be smart. I don't want to get into that. Of course, I have washed my hands and, and, and uh, I'm the cleanest person in the, the world. We all are right now. And uh, we get that. So. Um, but we will do as the uh, preacher says. Hey, Jason. Good to see you, brother. Great DJ. Uh, good friend. Golden Mike Winter here recently. Uh, hey, Greg Fox. Man, you missed it last night, Greg. I did one that, that included you. I did the Game of Life. Uh, we played the song, The Game of Life. And I had, if you'll remember this, Y'all gave DJs a baseball that was signed by everybody, including you and your dad. And, and we did that last night. It was really cool. And I played another song from that album, Empty Vessel, that featured Arthur Rice. Hey, Christina. Hey, uh, Sherry. Good to see y'all. So we're doing yet another piece of, of Southern Gospel memorabilia that's in my uh, vast collection of stuff. And I'm going to play another song for another piece of vinyl that ties into it. Uh, today. But uh, anyway, so we did that one last night about the game of life and the baseball. And uh, let's see, a couple commercial kind of stuff to do. Um, Old Time Preachers Quartet, new single. Uh, I, I sang myself happy. There's a contest. Go to our website. We want you to participate in, in that contest. Greg Fox says, yes, I remembered. I've got your signature on the on the ball, Greg. But go to oldtimepreachersquartet.com and you'll see a thing that says, um, I sang myself happy. It's a contest, and it's really, really cool. Hey, Tony. Hey, Sherry. Uh, and we want you to participate. There's a big grand prize package. You can find all that information there on the website. Hey, Patty. Um, let's see. What else can we tell you? What else can I say before we do this piece of memorabilia? Um, uh, Mark, uh, December 7, 8, and 9, a, uh, a uh, Smokies uh, camp meeting. 
uh, with, um, with uh, myself and Old Time Preachers Quartet, Barry Rowland and Deliverance, a bunch of other artists. Man, we're going to preach and sing and have a big time in the Smokies. By faith, we're doing that because we can't get out of our homes now. <laughs> but hopefully, December 7, 8, 9, God will have all this fixed and uh, we'll, we'll uh, carry on then. So go check that out on the website too. Hello, uh, Dalton. Hello, Philip. Okay. Let's go ahead and start. So, the piece of Southern Gospel memorabilia today is this right here. It is a picture. I think Paul Wharton, who took this picture, I think did one for each of the folks that you see there. And I think one for myself. I was publisher of the Singing News at the time. Danny Jones, who was the editor. And I think Rick Francis got one. And that's it. So, that, mean, that means there was, what, about... 10, 11, 12, something like that. And I got them all autographed. And you'll see that uh, Ray Dean had to, be, uh, had to be different. You see all the autographs down here at the bottom. Except when you get to Ray Dean, you got to go all the way to the top. He put his in the trees. <laughs> here, let me get this close where you can see uh, everybody here. I got to get this right here with the camera. There, are we close? That's pretty good right there. Now, this was taken uh, when we did a uh, double DVD recording called It Happened on the Way to the Concert. It was an idea that uh, that I had that with all these road stories that I've heard from the 42 years of doing this, I mean, just everything for things that make you, make you laugh to funny things, just one right after the other. I wanted to get some of these stories. And so we we uh, did a video series of it and I had a photo shoot and, they, and this ended up being a cover of the Singing News Magazine. And uh, it was really, really cool. If you don't have the DVD series, you can probably go to singingnews.com and uh, purchase one. I would do it. It's a great historical piece. And um, anyway, so this is a picture. And there's only, like I say, 10, 11, 12 of these pictures like this. And uh, I don't know if the rest of the guys got, got them all to autograph it. Uh, if they do, then there's more than one. But if not, then I've got the only one that has all the autographs. And so over the next few days... Whoop, over the next few days, I'm going to, we're going to do this. I'm going to do something uh, like play a song or tell stories or both about each individual that's in this picture here. But, but tonight, I'm going to actually tie a couple of those uh, people together. A uh, matter of fact, I'm going to go on the extreme ends. I'm going to tie that man there, Ronnie Henson, with that man right there, Eddie Crook. Let me, let me quickly <clears throat> tell you who all these folks are here. Starting right here, this is Eddie Crook, of course, played piano for the Happy Goodmans for years. Uh, Ed Hill, who has been with the uh, Statesman and the Stamps, many groups throughout the years. Ben Spear, of course, of the Spear family. Uh, Kevin McManus, uh, just a great engineer, owned Oak Valley Studios for years. And I've produced records there, and he's just a, he's my friend. And he's, he's a good guy and a wonderful engineer. Uh, Chris Hawkins Freeman, of course, of the Hensons. And then next to, to her, the little giant, Ernie Phillips. We love Ernie and we miss him. Um, and then we got, uh, oh my goodness, Ronnie Page of the Chuck Wagon Gang. And you know what? Here's, here's some, uh, a piece of history for you. Ronnie was a member of the original Oak Ridge Boys. Yes, that Oak Ridge Boys. What about that? And then let me see. I can't. It's hard for me to do this. Then we got uh, Willie Wynn, of course. He was with the Oak Ridge Boys as, as well. And the Tennesseans, he had his own quartet. Willie Wynn and the Tennesseans. You remember them, of course. Hey, Terry. Hey, Jim. And then uh, Ray Dean Reese of the Kingsman next to uh, to Willie. And then Ronnie Henson there on that far side. So um, if anybody that's watching here, I'm going to put this down for a minute because it's, hurt, it's hurting my neck. If anybody knows any of these folks... And you've got a uh, story uh, that you want to type out about them. You can uh, do it right there as we're Facebook Live, and I might mention it. Or just uh, there on my Facebook page, type in a funny little antidote, a little story, or maybe even something serious, a blessing in some way from uh, any one of those folks right there. And I tell you what, it'll be great. People can read it, and we'll all have a good time with it. But So what I want to do right now is I want to tie Eddie Crook and Ronnie Henson together. So, okay, you say, well, how are you going to do that? And those who's, who've been around Southern Gospel at all, you know how I'm going to do that. <laughs> but this man here, Ronnie Henson, wrote a little song called The Lighthouse. And, uh, you know, of course, Ronnie Henson had his own family group called The Hensons. 
And they had a hit with it. But you know, the very first group that had a hit with the song, The Lighthouse, go ahead, I'm going to wait for somebody to type it in because it's a softball. I'm lobbing a softball to you. Everybody knows. But let's see who can be the first one to type in who was the first uh, uh, hit recording of it. And it was a hit recording for another family group. Not the Hensons, but the... Come on. Come on, folks. I'm waiting. You all know it. Hint, Madisonville, Kentucky. Thank you so much, Dr. Gary Kahn. Yes, the Happy Goodmans. Matter of fact, on, here's another little piece of Southern Gospel memorabilia. This piece of vinyl right here called uh, The Happy Goodmans Wanted Live. This was recorded at, I think, the Keel Opera House. It was in Missouri, in St. Louis, I believe. Uh, yeah, Keel Opera House. Yeah, St. Louis, there you go. And this was the, uh, the version of The Lighthouse that was the huge hit was on this record right here. And, uh, and I tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to play it, but, uh, Howard Goodman kind of testifies and preaches a little bit before, uh, they actually sing it. And I'm going to let you hear the testimony, little preaching, little message there, as well as the uh, song. Received very we well go. across the country from everybody. We have, uh, in this day that we're living in, seemingly a force in the world that brings the name of the Lord Jesus down on the level with men. But I'm here to tell you tonight that yeah, Brett. Jesus Christ is King. He's our Lord and King. He's the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. And the end. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'll say that too. And I heard a fellow talking the other day about a new Jesus movement. I got news for him, children. There's nothing new about the movement of Jesus. <laughs> it started on the cross when he hung on the cross. And there's nothing new about it. Amen. Glory. Praise God. And any song that does not hold up the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's just not for the good ones. We just can't hardly sing it. That man wrote it. I want you to listen to a song, a this brand new one. You know, my mom play the passed away back on the in piano May, May the 14th. That is still played mom today, the same the way. Lord. It's one an of the iconic introduction. Hardest things we ever done was to get Eddie up drunk. But she taught us the ways of the Lord Jesus. And she said, all of her testimonies and all of her preaching and her teaching, that we should keep the name of the Lord Jesus first in our life. Never do anything to destroy it or try to do away with it or bemean the name or to do away with the deity, but hold him up. Oh, somebody wrote a little article the other day and put it out in the newspaper trying to tell us Good how to, to talk you, to young people today. Hello, Aunt Sue. Where they'd understand when you're telling them about Jesus. And it was blasphemy, as far as I'm concerned, because it said nearly 2,000 years ago, God sent a dude nope, to this earth and happened. called Jesus. Now you think about that. Isn't that sad? That is sad. And then he said he went around healing the sick and supposedly doing good and said, wound up getting crucified and hung on a cross. Oh, Will by the establishment. And then he was in the grave for hey, three Mark, days, a stony grave, and then he you know split the scene. Let's sing along with him here in a minute. The happy good ones. Let me happy. tell you something. My kids learned how to say mom and dad when they were nearly still in their cradles. And yours you did too, and that's plain English. And there's not a kid in the land that can't understand it when you talk about Jesus. You don't have to do away with the deity of his great name to get him to hear you. Tell him, Brother Howard. <laughs> if I thought I had raised a child that was so ignorant that you had to talk about <laughs> Jesus like that to get him to understand it, I'd be ashamed to own him as my child. Brother Mark, give me an amen right there. But there's not any in America like that. <laughs> they know what you're talking about. Talk about Jesus. Lift him up. Hallelujah. Ooh, I feel something now. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's good when you the feel cross, the Lord, isn't it? They've tried to Hello, do away William. with it. 
they thought when they put him in the tomb that that was the end, but that was just the beginning. When he hung on the cross, he began to forgive sins, and the great plan of salvation began to work right then. And men have desired to tear it down, and tear it down, and do away with it, and tear it hey, down. Hey, Charles. Branson, oh, Branson Charles. He's like a lighthouse you. that sits on a hill Amen. by the ocean of time. And it overlooks the sea of life. And one day it rescued me. I saw that light. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I want you to listen to Brother Rusty's. He sings a brand new song entitled Here comes that the intro. Lighthouse. Eddie Crook right there. One more time. Would you like to snap in the pop of There's the a lighthouse on the hillside that overlooks life's sea. When I'm tossed it sends out a lie that I might see hey, Rocky. and the light that shines in darkness now will safely lead me oh, away. Way, the greatest singer ever right there, Rusty Goodman. If it was hey, Aaron, hey, Roland. Lives around us. What do they say? Says, tear that lighthouse down. The big ships don't sail this way anymore. Ain't no use. It's standing round. I think it was 1971. But then my goes back to that stormy. Saw the light, with the light from that old lighthouse that stands up there on a hill. Sing along for the lighthouse. I owe my life to today it's this very unique picture autographed by everybody done on the um uh set of uh it happened all the way to the concert the dvd recording and uh cd combo and by the way proverbs eighteen ten says the name of the lord is a strong tower strong tower you know like a lighthouse a strong tower the righteous runneth into it and is safe during these times that's going on in America and in the world today, don't you know that the lighthouse that the Happy Goodman sang about is the place that the child of God ought to be running to today? Amen? He's not a spare tire. We act like he's a spare tire. Tire. In these bad times, we run to him. We should have been running to him before all of this. If we as a country, as a people, as children of God would have done that, uh, we may might be living in this right now. 
He may be wanting to get our attention. And I do believe he's doing a mighty fine job getting our attention, don't you? The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. That's what I say that you ought to do tonight. You get to worrying about all this, you need to run to the Lord. Run to his safety, the lighthouse. And by the way, Brother Stacy, I got your sheet music for that, and I'm going to have Ronnie autograph that for you. Got it yesterday in the mail, and the other pieces too, so we'll take care of that. So, uh, as I said, we are going to now, uh, for the next few nights, I'm going to take one person from all, in each of all the people in this picture, and then I'm going to tell stories about them, probably play a song uh, from them, and uh, we'll have a great time as we go through uh, my Hall of Fame worth, <laughs> museum worth of Southern Gospel memorabilia. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed this one, the time. These two fellows right here, Ronnie Henson, the writer, and that signature piano lick from the Goodmans, da -da 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 -da, Eddie Crook from the Happy Goodman family on this album, Wanted Live, Happy Goodmans. And there was a question, let me see if I can't answer that before we go off, about when this was recorded. I believe it was recorded in 71, it could, could be 70, and on some of the vinyl, the, uh, the year is stamped on the actual vinyl. And so I'm gonna see if I can read through this and see if that's the case. It is not the case with this one. But I could do some research. I believe it was, I believe it might have been 1970. And it might have been released in 71. So how many years ago is that? That's 70. What is that? That's 50 years ago. Wow. Still a great song. Still the truth. Thank God for the lighthouse. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, tell you what, do me a favor. Uh, hit the share button on Facebook and let other people know about this. And they may... Uh, they may have a really, really, really uh, good time watching some of this stuff here. Keep your eyes on the lighthouse and you can't see the storm. Keep on keeping on, Brother Les. Yeah, Brother Brett, that's good. That sounds like a song. Write that one. That's good. <laughs> Hello, Darlene uh, Whitman uh, Williams. Thank you for watching. And uh, thanks uh, to all of you for watching. And uh, Lord willing, uh, sometime tomorrow or tomorrow night, I don't know when, we'll do another one. Okay? God bless you. Stay safe.